Hey guys, what's going on? You're watching Deutsch Wolf, and today we're going to be playing some of Binding of Isaac, Wrath of the Lamb. Now, I have never played this game before. I've never opened it. This is the first time I've opened it before, and the reason for this is because I watch quite a few commentators out there on YouTube who've been playing this game for quite a while, and um, uh, namely uh, Northern Lion. I watch a bit of uh, BizSnap as well, and uh, those guys are a lot of fun to watch, um, a lot of good commentary. But the thing I find is that a lot of people, you know, you know, you might not have played the game before, but you still have, you know, you still kind of lend your advice and lend your opinion on it. And the thing I wanted to see is, I wanted to see, okay, I've, I've never played the game before, obviously, so I'm not going to have the muscle memory that these guys have, but, you know, on the other side of it, too, I might have, um, you know, I just want to see how well I can actually do, given the uh, knowledge that I've gotten from watching these guys play over the, uh, the course of... You know, probably over a year now or so. So, this is my first time turning it on. I've never uh, turned it on before. Let's see if I open stats up. You can see secrets found, zero. Deaths, zero. Mom kill, zero. Item, zero. Obviously, nothing's been done yet. I haven't done a damn thing. Um, and, uh, uh, you know, again, this is my first time turning it on, or turning this game on. So, let's see how well I can do based on the knowledge that I've gotten from, uh, from these guys. As you can see, everybody's still locked in here. And uh, Isaac's the only one that we've got, so uh, let's go ahead and uh, select him. Uh, okay, so I gotta get kind of the lay of the land here. WASD. Whoa! Crap! Well, there goes the one bomb that I had. Okay. Terrible damage. Terrible. Seriously. Come on, man. Uh, and of course, I don't have a bomb. Not that it would make much sense to get that anyway, so let's keep going. Let's see what's in the poop. We always hit all the poop. Let's see what we got in here. Or half, half heart. Okay. And we got ourselves a sense out of it. I'm not quite ready to go to the boss room quite yet. And hopefully, it's not something not too difficult to carry here. And hopefully I've got my my uh, audio levels and stuff in the proper settings here because what is why is the item room open? Okay, maybe they're just being nice to me since I'm first time player. But uh, we got ourselves poison touch. You know, um, the curse room here. I not. Uh, oh man. You know what? Screw it. I'm gonna go in. We'll check it out. And we got ourselves a troll bomb. Of course, took terrible damage. And more terrible damage. And now I'm down to a half red heart. So, you know, this is obviously not going that great so far. Um, let's go ahead and uh, see who our boss is for this level. And we've got ourselves uh, who the widow. Yes. So, okay. And again, one one hit's gonna kill me, so I imagine the end is probably coming here fairly soon. Try to take care of some of these nubs before they overpower me. Stand here and- ow! Oh, take it right on the chin. Ah, so that's the end of it. So let's go ahead and replay. Try that again. Terrible run. But, you know, honestly, what, what more do you expect? Again, it's my first time, I'm not even used to the uh, controls or anything yet. And we've got ourselves a tinted rock in this room. Let's see. Let's try to kill these flies here before they do any more terrible damage to me. You know, and again, I think the big problem here is going to be, you know, I just don't have the muscle memory. I'm not used to playing games like this. You know, if you guys have watched my channel before, you know, I'm, I'm kind of... I mostly play FPS games. Um, and Magic Mushroom all stats up. That's pretty damn good right there. I'm glad to have gotten that. Uh, what is this? Um, Shift. Yes. Okay, there we go. Bust open this tinted rock, and we've got ourselves a spirit heart. Okay, moving on. You know, again, as I was saying, I don't have the muscle memory that those guys have, obviously. They've invested hundreds, if not thousands of hours into the game, you know. Um, and, uh, you know, I think Northern Lines is something like, uh, you know, five, oh, he's over 500 episodes now, so it's been quite a while that he's been involved in this. But anyways, worst, terrible luck in the curse room here. And there goes my spirit heart, so let's go ahead and take care of this grandfather fly over here. 
And again, the lingo that I'm using is, uh, you know, lingo that I kind of acquired from watching Northern Lion play over the past year. Um, let's, uh, we've got ourselves that. You know what, that didn't make any goddamn sense, I don't have any money. That is completely a new mistake right there. So we've got, uh, Larry Jr. Let's see how we'll do that do against this guy. Well, he's a blue one, so that I think means that he gives us the, uh, uh, we've got the opportunity to gain a spirit heart from him, so if I don't lose too much health from fighting him, that would be ideal. Okay, there we go. We got rid of one of them. That makes life a little bit simpler for us. Okay, come on, come on, come on. I'll play chicken with this guy. You know, hopefully, yeah, yeah. Almost got him. And there he goes. He is dead, and we've got ourselves another spirit heart out of it. And I think this is a uh, speed up. Oh, no, no rain jump. That's right. Okay, down to the next floor. And so far, I think this is what been the most successful run I've gotten in here so far. So uh, we've already uh, we've already been improving. So let's go up first. Um, let's see. We've got one bomb. Trade it for one key. No, I don't think that's going to happen yet. Again, you know. Here's, here's just one of the. Oh, I'm so stuck in a corner there. But uh, one of the problems that I have again, you know, is watching these guys who have got a lot of experience under their belt when playing this game. I definitely do not have that, you know, level of experience, and so you know, I, I gotta adjust my playstyle, maybe be a little bit less aggressive than uh, than you'd see those guys being at that point. So again, if you came here to watch some. Uh, High level MLG play, I'm sorry, but that's unfortunately not what you're gonna see here. You're watching a guy uh, who's been watching a. Um, he might describe himself as, you know, sub, you know not, not the greatest player in the world for sure, um, trying to kind of tough his way through this thing. Yeah, I don't, I don't know why I decided to blow that thing up. It would make a lot of sense. There wasn't really anything to be had, but we've got ourselves a blood drink in this room. We will grab that key. And I'm not willing to sacrifice any of my health for uh, in either of these rooms, so let's just keep moving on. Uh, go and take it up to the uh, left-hand side here. You know, and I am kind of struggling with the key bindings a little bit, you know. Again, you know, I'm used to kind of moving around with the arrow keys, but using uh, using the mouse to kind of look around and see what direction we're going in. So, let's just, uh, these guys, take care of this neutral fly here. And, uh, hopefully not get ourselves caught in the corner. Okay, take care of that guy, and well, the, that guy's done for. Okay, let's see what we've got in the poop over here. Nothing at all. Not very good luck in regards to that, but we do have two keys, so I'm going to go ahead and go in here. Oh, and friends till the end, not a good item. You see, this is uh, an issue that I'm already having here, but um, and that is uh, you know, running into the middle of the room and just grabbing something, but anyways... Um, you know, I think, uh, I think friends to the, or what is it, my best friend, I think, might come in useful. We can get the Widow to kind of go over there, and there we go. So, you know, that might be a little bit more effective. I know that, um, using, oh, God, worst damage ever, worst damage ever. I know that using, um, my best friend can, uh, potentially hurt you, but I think it's only if you're fighting, God damn it, fighting enemies that, uh, have the ability to, um, Get some parts out of that. I have the ability to stomp down. Um, so, like, uh, uh, Daddy Long Legs, uh, Mom. So, radioactive Spider. Okay, cool. And we got ourselves an HP up, which is definitely useful at this point to give us some additional survivability. Not much more to do on this uh, floor because uh, we only have two cents and the only thing left is the shop. So, let's go ahead and go down to the next floor. And uh, we're walking in a field here. It is, it is nice, I will say, because um, NL and the other guys, they have a tendency to kind of jump over the loading screens, and I'd never seen the intro screen before. Um, and so, uh, um, it, it, you know, the story behind Binding of Isaac makes a lot more sense when um, when you can actually watch that stuff. And, I, and the other interesting thing is, you know, usually the commentary is over, so actually I can, I can hear the sound effects and stuff associated with it. And, you know, it's, I, I think it really lends to the, um, the experience that you get with this game, for sure. So, let's go ahead and take these guys out. Um, and, uh, advance ourselves to the next room. You know, at least these guys are pretty difficult, and, uh, they're Sorry about that, guys. The uh, UPS guy walked in. Had to take care of that. Oh, 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 oh. Again, a terrible.
terrible dodges. Terrible, terrible dodges. You know, I don't don't have the uh, muscle memory that these other guys have, and so dodging is definitely something that's gonna give me a hard time. So, Papa, Papa. Ah, got hit again. Again, you know, I'm, I suspect. Oh, God damn it. I suspect I'm not very long for this world, unfortunately. Um, and uh, okay, we got ourselves a pill, but we really can't do a lot to get to it. Though, you know, um, we do have six bombs. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and pop that open because, um, honestly, we need all the health that we can get at this point. So, let's see what it is. Brain job. Doesn't really help us in this situation, unfortunately. Oh, crap. And that's, unfortunately, the enemy. Um, so, we've been going for about 11 minutes now. I'm going to go ahead and replay this one more time. We'll see, uh, see just how well we do this time around. Because, you know, again, this being our third run, I don't think we're doing too bad, so let's run into the item room here, and the x-ray glasses, which, uh, yeah, should give us the ability to see the, uh, secret rooms on levels, which, again, <clears throat> might be a very useful thing, just because, uh, uh, it'll allow us to, you know, hopefully get some more benefit out of, uh, the levels that we're on. So, again, sorry the commentary might not be necessarily riveting, I do have to concentrate, <clears throat> you know, quite a bit more than I think I normally would have, just because, again, I'm not used to the, uh, the control convention, and, uh, or at least we got some more health out of that, but, uh, not used to the control convention, kind of getting used to everything in general, so, let's go ahead and go to the right-hand side here, we've got a whole lot going on in this room, we've got ourselves a Leaper, which is in the ass, but he's already taken care of, so let's take care of these flies. Then we'll crack the poop open and uh, see what we've got in there. There we go. And we got ourselves a penny. So, you know, it makes sense to go and check out, uh, check out and see what we've got for sure in every room. Just to get the most benefit we possibly can out of it. So, that first one was a lucky dodge. Unfortunately, the second one was not. Nothing at all going on over here, so uh, we've only got one cent, so we're not going to go into the shop. It doesn't make a lot of sense, but let's run into the secret room here. And we've got ourselves an eternal heart. So, I'm actually going to leave that, and we'll go and fight the boss, and then we'll go get it um, after the fact, so we can actually uh, ensure ourselves we get that HP up. So, uh, which we're definitely going to need. Oh, my God. Okay. Glitching out a little bit. Come on, come on. Get myself kind of caught in the corner down here. Yo, and again, I'm finding. Oh, and that's it. God damn it. Okay. Okay, I lied. We're going to do this one more time around. But, anyways, um, so like I was saying, you know, that, uh, um, it's definitely a lot harder to kind of process and, and play through this, you know, just because I'm not, I'm not used to the controls. I'm not, I don't have the muscle memory that's going to tell me, you know, where to go. And, uh, you know, a lot of these guys, or when I watch NL, I find he's, he's also recording at 30 frames a second, which I find particularly makes makes uh, makes the game look a lot easier than it would be otherwise. Again, I don't have enough money to go into the shop and make it work well, so let's just go ahead and continue moving on here. Get these guys taken care of. Alright, we've got a sent out lab. We'll go ahead and head up to the top here. So, it seems like kind of, you know, again, this is stuff I don't really think about when I'm watching uh, commentator videos. And we've got the doctor's remote in there, which doesn't make, oh, doesn't make a lot of sense for me to pick up. Um, you know, I think, you know, again, since I haven't really played it, oh, it's a teleporter, okay. So, definitely not something I'm necessarily that interested in. Um, uh, you know what, I'm gonna hit it. And we got ourselves into the secret room, so that's a, that's a decent thing. We've got Guppy's tail, which, uh... Uh, I don't know exactly what it does, but again, yeah. you know, again, that I guess uh, gives us the opportunity to potentially become Guppy in the future here, but, um, you know, I don't think, again, we're going to last that long just because, you know, I'm not, you know, obviously I'm not that good at this game uh, yet by any standard. So we've got ourselves Duke of Flies here, which uh, shouldn't be a terrible fight in theory here, even though he is a champion version, so looks like he's going to spawn these lasers with flies. Um, Go ahead and take care of the ones over here. 
And, you know, again, we're not doing a ton of damage or anything like that. Um, but, uh, hopefully keep these flies kind of bay here. And, uh, so maybe kind of scrape around him a little bit. Kind of try to get in there and get around his, his wall of flies that he's got. Ah, got that. You know, he doesn't have a ton of life or anything, but, you know, these points are just nice to me. Yeah. Yeah. Got the majority of taken care of. Let's try to use this gap right here to take care of him. Where's the fences down a little bit? So. Ah! Sorry, again, you know, I am trying to concentrate probably more than you think I would be at this point. And, you know, again, we're only on the basement one, and so it's not exactly, oh, the most difficult levels. But there it is. I got myself killed. And so um, I think that's going to do it for this video. But um, thanks again for watching. Again, guys, you know, I'm really sorry. It's been a real long time since I put out any sort of new videos and stuff. But, you know, this is something that I've been wanting to try for a while. I kind of wanted to you know, play the game for the first time completely fresh, uh, having watched, you know, five, six hundred episodes of, um, Binding of Isaac, and, uh, and, you know, give it my, give myself a shot and just see how, how well I perform, and apparently it didn't perform that well, but, you know, had a lot of fun doing it, and, uh, you know, hopefully I'll do some more videos here in the near future, so, anyways, thanks guys for watching, we'll catch you later, bye.